Oh, okay. Each backpack purchased automatically increases inventory capacity by 10. That's pretty damn sweet, but I can't afford it any anymore. So, uh, so I think we're done here. Um, yeah, that that seems to do it. Let's just move on, and then uh, I can worry about equipment and all that kind of stuff a little bit later. Let's talk to Levi. Go with you know biblically Levi. What's up, dude? You're a hard man to find. Who the hell are you? Where are my manners? The name is Levi. Levi Dry. What did I just say? It's Levi. No. Levy of the coins? No. Levy the traitor? No, you sound like a crook. Duncan never mentioned you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? That's with a Y. We've each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. What's that? Poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Interesting. How did you know, Duncan? It's a bit of a tale, that is. Uh-oh. But I'm the one who brought the Grey Wardens back to Ferelden. Well, I was one of the ones. There were a lot of us. Did they all I die? Breath. I'm a bit nervous. Honored to be here, really. Interesting. Uh... What, what promise did he make to you? My family, well, pass a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. They usually do that with My thieves. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. What? So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. We were, we were freeloaders once? How dare you? Not since I've joined. Everybody just gives me stuff, but I don't ask for it, therefore I'm not a freeloader. Just tell me what I need to know. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. Interesting. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honor along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? Why does this guy suddenly remind me of Gollum from Lord of the Rings? There's, there's a tunnel. And I don't want to go through your damn tunnel. Tunnel's no good. Why didn't Duncan do it? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. Interesting. Uh, it's fine, I'll do it for you because I'm pretty sure that's one of the premium things that I got. Uh, that sounds like one of them. So... Fine. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Oh, okay. We're not going, like, right now, are we? Quest updated. New codex. Yeah, it's premium, so... Uh, I'm gonna put that off, but know that I do have it ready in case we should need to. So I think... That that is pretty much it for yes runes and enchantment. I'm done with the freaking idiot. Sorry, idiot savant. So I think we can just head out and ha ha ha. Yes, yes. I don't think it matters what order they're in. To be honest with you, so what whatever order. Let's just go. Sorry, Liliana, you're a rogue, therefore I don't want to go to you. And we have a ton of new places that we can go. Where can we go? Red Cliff, Sultra's Pass, Frostback Mountains, Lake Callanhead Docks, Von Lawrence Lands, Soldier's Peak, that's, what, that's the one that we just did, the biggest city, Denerim, or Brazil. Sorry, Brazilian outskirts. The outskirts of Brazil. Can we go, like, here? Isn't that where Rio is, somewhere around here? I want to go there. Uh, they told us first that we needed to go to Red Cliff. I don't look like Alistair got a level up that I didn't keep track of. So let's go to Red Cliff first, even though Brazil does sound like a really good option right now. That does sound good. But no, we will go... Oh, uh, looks like we got in a fight. That's, that, that's what that means, doesn't it? Fight! No! Switch! 
Oh, you guys are attacking him. The alpha, yes, get the alpha. What the hell? I switched. I swear I switched. I swear I switched. Okay, no. Focus fire. Focus fire. We must always focus fire. And he's dead, so hit him. And are you guys... Are you guys planning on making it through this? That'd be appreciated. Okay, I think it's just him left, so I'm gonna run up here. Holy crap, we're kicking ass. Stan almost died again, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's pick up everything that they got here. Silver. More silver. Holy crap. And the Alpha only has an Amethyst. I'm always hoping for equipment, to be honest with you. That is what I'm hoping for at the moment. Seriously? Freaking, Char doesn't even look like you're in there, Charles. Doesn't even look like you're in there. I just wanted to get the elf root, but no, you have to step in a bear trap. Uh, I don't know which way I need to go. Return path, and this is the way forward. Did you step? Freaking Sten. Let's let's give him his level up then. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be sword, shield, and uh, constitution for now. Strength, dexterity. That's what I assume they're for. That's what I assume they're for. See, threaten. The warrior adopts a challenging posture that increases enemy hostility with each melee attack, drawing them away from other allies while this mode is active. We are not at the level where we can have a tank yet. I don't have a healer. Why would I want a tank? That is not, not the way that I'm setting this up. Precise striking, that's decent. But really, I want to go for sword and shield. Shield wall, the character shield becomes nearly a fortress, having a significant bonus to armor and a greater likelihood of shrugging off missile attacks, but the cost of reduced damage shield expertise makes the character immune to direct knockdown attacks while in this mode. The shield mastery gives a bonus to defense. Uh, do you have, like, shield mastery? Oh, that's way down here. Oh, and I need more dexterity for all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's what I'm going to go for because that's really what he's going for. For. Does that change his tactics in any way? Um, Alistar? Defender? Hmm. Oh, it did change it. So now he's got shield wall up here. So it automatically sets it, so that's probably going to be the way that I try to keep it. I might tweak it a little bit here and there, but um, how the tactics work... Are you serious? I'm not in battle anymore. And you're not caught. Look at you straddling the freaking trap. Uh, this seems to be the way forward from what, from what it looks like here. So let's just head here. And then... Oh, we just leave. Okay. Do we make it there? Is this the way that I have to do, like, level grinding in this game? Wait, could I have gone up here? It's probably like... The, what is that? Like, the circle of Magi? Is that what that's supposed to be? Oh, new town. Looks very nice. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. I thought you said no more surprises. Let me guess. You're an idiot. Yes, that's right. I stopped you to tell you that I'm an idiot. Whew. Thank the maker you know already. Now I can stop worrying. I'll be found out. That sounds suspiciously like sarcasm. What can I say? I'm a witty idiot. But I'm trying to be serious here. Just listen. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know our Eamon exactly? No, you didn't. Uh, apparently you said he raised you. I don't remember you saying this. Uh, but fine. Why are you his son? No, no, I'm not his son. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose doesn't really mean anything in that sentence there. He kind of looks like King Kaelin now that he mentions it. I don't really remember what the guy looked like, but... <laughs> so you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard! Uh... Why'd you wait to tell me this? I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. 
I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. Yeah. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. So you're Aragorn is what you're saying. You're you're the real successor to the throne, but yeah. When we get there, we'll get there, apparently. Uh Does Logan know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married Seriously? a young woman from Morlaix, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Really? Uh, did she know the truth about you? I'm trying not to be as mean as possible. I want him to stay in my party, damn it. Uh, but this is getting tough. It's getting tough. Uh, sounds like a bunch of whining and then, bro, minus 20, you know, liking me, whatever. Uh, does she know the truth about you? She may have, but I think it's more likely that she feared the rumors might be true. I can't blame her for that. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. You look distraught about this. Stupid thing to do. The owl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but... I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. But you are an heir to the throne, right? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Wait, what? Aren't you? <laughs> See? I knew you could do it. It's easy, isn't it? So I'm trying to think here now that he mentions it. Has there ever been a game? Uh, yeah, he still disapproves. <laughs> He's gonna keep disapproving. What do you want me to say? I'm gonna be a dick to him, and he he can't take sarcasm as well as he can dish it out. I'm trying to think of a game though, in which a character was sick, right? You know, like coughing, anything like that, and then made it, made a turnaround, and was fine. And I can't think of one, to be honest with you. So, if they say that this guy's sick, I'm assuming he's going to die. That's just the way that I'm going to think about it. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Do you like my thighs? Come to help us? They're kind of showing right now. Uh, is there a pro I'm on important business. I need to see Arlie Men. Oh. Then you, you, you don't know. Has nobody out there heard? I've heard he's sick. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. What? Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Crap. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. See, she can take sarcasm. No army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. What? I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. What? It's not far, if you'll come with me. Ah, uh, politics. Uh, what? So, 
there are like things coming out of the castle all the time and killing everybody, but nobody knows what they are. What? Are they dark spawn? Just give me a little hint here. That's all I'm asking. You can't even give me that. How are you guys doing? You, d you doing all right? How about you facing the wall in the corner? I assume you're the brother. It's what the hell? Yes. Do you level and up who again? Are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the Arl. I remember that you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Really? Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. You don't believe his lies. What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Kaelin risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. How the good are your shouts? A few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Uh, yeah, seriously, what evil things are you talking about? Can you give me some sort of description? Are we talking about zombies, vampires, werewolves, Frankenstein monsters? Some call them the walking dead. Zombies. Decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, because we're here. I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Right, of course. You want my help? You don't know me! I know Alistair, and I trust those he chooses to travel with. What do you say? Uh... Yeah, I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm not going to turn down quests. I know that would technically be more evil of me, but no. There are no darkspawn here and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. Oh, wait. They're, like, telling me to say no? What the hell's dead? If there's a chance to rescue the Arl, we have to try. Yeah, we, we need an army. I need an army, Sten. Yet helping these humans does nothing of the sort. How? Pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Seriously? Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Yeah, let's just go. Well. Two of my party members said we didn't need to do this. Yeah, holy crap did they disapprove. And Alistair barely likes me more. Damn it. <laughs> like me, damn it, more again. What the hell? You guys are like, pff, help people. I don't want to do that shit. Um, God. See, look, don't I still need to do this? I just go to the village or something like that. Yeah, in order to complete this quest, I have to do this quest, right? No. Maybe there is, like, a secret other way of doing it, but hell if I'm going to figure out how to do all that without... Yeah. Jeez, I feel like I've done something wrong here, but hell if I know what it is. You guys all have names. You could be important, but I'm going to assume you're not. You have something over your head. You must be important, Caitlin. Alistair, get out of my way. Yeah, seriously, shut up. Is coming. Oh, sorry. 
Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. You look sick. Good, I'll leave you to your sniveling. I'll just stay out of your way, sir. Don't mind me, none. We have <laughs> Morgan approves! <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, you're such a bitch. Okay, let's head outside. Damn, seriously, I can just go like, ugh, you're gross. Alistair, why do you keep glowing? Is this where humans keep all their wisdom? Your behavior makes much more sense to me now. What? I don't know what you're talking about. No, we don't have the men we need. What? And their numbers just keep growing each night. Well, sure, they take the day, and they... Well, you guys are talking... I thought that was Alistair that said something. Never mind. I'm coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. Your miracle has arrived, Murdoch. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the kin. I'm not here... <laughs> You heard wrong, damn it! I never die. So you say. A damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. He's back there. That much is clear. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Uh, what? Uh, you seem rather calm, considering. My men are certain enough as it is that they'll die tonight. They don't need me quivering in my boots. My death will come soon enough. It don't need me hurrying it along. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Of course I am. Uh, d wow. I'm, I don't want to ask what I can do to help. Fine, what can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Damn it. Damn it, Owen! Why does he refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. So he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. I can do that. Nobody else can do it. Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? Fair enough. Is there anything else you want me to do? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Why? He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We Are could use seven somebody of them? with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Fine. I want to discuss something else. Shouldn't you be trying to reason with Owen? Fine. We'll go. Don't drink with him. That's how he sucks you in. Just my luck, our success hinges on the most foolish drunk of a smith ever to grace the maker's lands. Sweet. We can go talk to the drunk. What the hell is with all these screenshots? Can I look at the screenshots? They don't let me, like, look at the screenshots. Whatever. Uh, where do you want me to go? Um, I, I should probably just go in all the houses, to be honest with you. Let's go down here, and... Jeez, everything's just, like, boarded up. How do I get in... Yeah, it says it's supposed to be in this corner somewhere. Like, I can't go up the ladder. Is it, like, across here? There we go, that's how I get here. This is Caitlin's home. This is who we talked to before, and she was all sick and shit. Once again, Alistair, you're just, like, poofing all over the place. What the hell is your problem? Something moved inside here, a short surprise to him. What? Just open it. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. Please be clothed. All right, you're, you're Please, clothed. don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. 
go get lost. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Freaking kids. Missing child. Quest updated. Ugh, now I have to go check on him? What? <laughs> That's the quest. Check on the boy you just released. Uh, okay, game. Is he doing okay? Oh, this is really shiny. Can I go up here? Is there anything I can steal in here? Yeah, Alistair, you're poofing all over the place. I need a key in order to do that. Anything in the bookshelf? Uh, I got experience and a codex out of that. Um, can, is this another bookshelf? Yes, but I, there's nothing interesting there. All those books are worthless to me. Let's just head on out then. Get the music back up, because I do not like the pure silence of being inside, apparently. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get some music going. Now I can head in here. Blacksmithing. Oh, a 